at this point in time this is like yeah going out here is called the forest it's one of those circular entrances or exits whatever you call it if you if you don't want to invest anything and you want to play this game for free you can literally play without having like you see here i have these tools they cost you they cost you money you have to pay for them in wax but if you don't want to invest you can do this and eventually you can get drops which comes as an nft to your wax account and if you're lucky enough you can also get a blueprint from some of these drops and you can start like this right so i click and i correct this hemp and if I have 10 hemp and the blueprint for making string, then I can also make string. And string, uh, string is used for making this uh, bug net. You see the bu the the tool I have. This is for collecting bugs like this. When I have this bug net, I can collect bug li bugs like this. If you want to craft one of these bug nets, you need strings which you make out of hemp. Also that you need a blueprint. Blueprints are really rare. It's really hard to get. And you need a wax account. So it's co connected to your wax account. Is my graphics a bit too low? Draw distance. I can have higher draw distance on this computer. I'm just gonna have it on maximum. I think my I think my gaming computer can handle maximum draw distance. I can't handle it on my other computer where I'm playing this mo for the most of the part, for the mostly. But yeah. So I heard a lot of people talking about this. It looks like a scam. It sounds like a scam. If you think that this is a scam, or if you're worried that this is a scam, then well, first and foremost you probably don't want to download a game if you believe it's a scam if you believe that maybe you're downloading malware or something or if you're downloading a virus or something then yeah you shouldn't download it it's i understand that concern if you believe in this it's a if you think that they're just going to take the money that you invest and just run away with it like a rug pull well you don't have to invest you can you can start off by just collecting hemp like i said and you can slowly but surely build up your economy and eventually you can buy like a rusty axe or whatever, a rusty pickaxe. If you need a pickaxe for mining ore like this, like I'm doing here, I'm not getting anything yet. And an axe for mining wood or trees. And if you walk up to them, you click uh, on E, it tells you it's a level, level 2 requirement requires a level 2 axe. I have a level 3 axe, so that's okay. I have a question about NFTs. Do games reserve the right to balance items if you are owned by the players? They can... Well, the gamers, they can balance the drops of NFTs and they can... I mean they can change the they can change the game so that the NFTs have different functionality but you own the NFT I'm not I'm not entirely sure the specifics of that question to be honest So here you see like this if you look at this tree here I, n now you see there's an eye on it it's because I'm holding a uh, pickaxe so if I click on it it says it requires two level three required a tool axe right so if i don't have a level three axe which i do have i can't chop it down and this these bugs like i can collect these bugs but these bugs i can't collect because they requ require level three bug net and i only have a level one bug net so i can only collect these low level bugs with this so a lot of people are just running around collecting bugs like this but i i'm trying to collect a little bit of everything at the same time and the axe that i have is an nft everything that drops that's out of you know that it's valuable or 
you know any resource that you mine um, is an NFT and I think the reason why they have this system for the mining where you have to actively pick up the loot whenever it happens whenever it drops which is quite rare I think they have this system because they want to avoid click bots or automatic mining where you just have a a bot running the game for you in the background and it just harvests for you because if you have a bot you know you can have a bot running around and chopping trees I'm sure that's not so hard to set up I, I believe among those people that knows about that but you wouldn't be able like it wouldn't collect the NFT for you because of how the NFT actually drops so it would be pointless and I think that's why they have this system in place and these ones now there's like this one requires two level three this is a uh, coal ore coal is the most valuable uh, mineral or that I can mine with uh, with a pickaxe is required to make steel but it's also quite rare that it drops well, one of the things that makes me feel rather secure about this game that makes me think it's it's not a a rug pull or a a scam or whatever is because it's on the wax blockchain now if, if you're not familiar with wax of course that doesn't tell you anything but I've been playing some games on wax for quite a long time and it's a serious uh, gaming platform with plenty of games on it alien worlds green rabbit uh, oh, there are so many games just now on top of my head I'm just uh, brain farting so I can't remember all the names but our planet is one there was a new game on the wax that I haven't really checked out yet that I'm curious about just want to share that I'm genuinely having more fun in Battlefield 5 than Battlefield 242 I hear you man I hear you Devs mostly decide utility supplies determined player but then yeah the, the the community here I mean you have direct contact with the community here I'm talking to the community right here like here you see these here you see the devs here Dan I make stupid games and packs they're here talking see Dan is here he we've been to, if you have anything to if you have any opinions or anything to say about the game, you can just you can just talk to them, right? So I should probably drop this stream in uh, in the streaming channel and see if I can do some silly promotion of myself here. Uh, it's here somewhere. I always get so confused by the stream chat. Oh, come on. I know it's here somewhere. Is it here? Oh. Oh, I, this this is the video I made just recently. So, now I told people here that I'm live. Let me see if I can go back to the general English. There we go. Yo, I'm watching. Hello, Merrick. Why don't you say something in the chat? Yeah, Matt, I'm just, uh, I'm just, uh, I finished the Battlefield stream and I just want to show you this uh, NFT play to earn game that I started playing. It's on the Wax blockchain called Immersus. They're going to have a free to play version of, uh, free to play week. I don't know if it was week or weekend, but you can play this for free and just 
get out and gather some NFTs for free. I just want to chill and hang out for a while, Matt. I, I know a lot of people don't want to watch this because uh, you want me to go back to Battlefield 1. I know most people want me to go back to Battlefield 1, but I just I, ca I can't do it. I can't do it. Five years of Battlefield 1, it's just that's enough. So. Here we are. I know, I know a lot of you guys, you don't like it when I start talking about cryptocurrency and all that stuff, but like I've said so many times before, I believe that cryptocurrency is, is the future. I believe that blockchain gaming, crypto gaming and play to earn gaming is the future of gaming. And here is one of many upcoming, this is a early beta game, it's an upcoming game I would say. It's as you can tell it's it's far from finished and in the beginning of, of a, you know In the beta version of these games the only thing you can do is basically farm or stake or Click on something in order to earn some cryptocurrency or in this case you earn resources in in the form of NFTs So if you wonder why I'm chopping down just uh, these specific trees here, I almost never, I don't know, the, the drops became very rare lately. These are level 2 trees, they're not as valuable. So I'm going for these trees that it's called Sprouse, Sprouse trees. They're the most valuable. I'm, I'm really, really trying to get a... Um, Sprouse plank blueprint. That's what I'm trying to get. Uh, yeah. Um, she joined the Discord in order. Uh, if you. Do you have a uh, Wax account, uh, Merrick? Wait, you're you're already in the. Wait, Merrick, you're already in the. Oh, Steven Carino, yeah, yeah, Steven, that was you saying it. Can you put graphics on Ultra? Game can look. Pretty good, actually. Oh, that's grass. And it's tropic filter force on. Alright, I'll just go... I'll just go ultra, okay. Okay, so this is what the game looks like on ultra. Oh, I haven't... Well, that's why oh, I, I didn't do this game justice in my video. Playing this game on without... Yeah, I, I have grass off. I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of player that prefers performance and visibility over graphics. And I've been playing this game... Oh, I, f I got a little bit of uh, of a bad conscience now, not showing that this game actually looks a lot better than it, than in my video. Now, thanks for reminding me, Merrick. Merrick, Merrick. Oh, I got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm dropping frames here. Uh, where am I now? So, I want to show you also 
One of the things that I want to do... I'll show you this actually here. I want to level up this pickaxe. The pickaxe I have, it's uh, level 3. It's iron pickaxe, right? But with an iron pickaxe, you can't mine level 4 resources. I'm going to show you level 4 resources here. Because almost nobody has the steel pickaxe. So it's over. Look at this one. Oh, this is iron. Shit. This is iron. I can mine that. Okay, so now it's coming back. All this... There are gold and silver ores here. I'm gonna, I wanna show you when they, when they spawn back. Yeah, I probably wouldn't play like this with the grass because I have a hard time. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't dig. I need a shovel, loose clay. Requires shovel level three. I don't have a shovel, so I can't mine that. Can always do a part two. Yeah, I'll probably upload this on my secondary channel actually to show you. I have two YouTube channels. If you check in the description, you see I have a secondary channel. I'll probably upload this on my secondary channel actually. I know there are some butterflies here or moths or whatever. Let me see if the gold has spawned. Now these ones, this is iron, so that's a level 2. This is coal, so that's level 3. And yeah, level 3 is as high as I can mine with this pickaxe. Ah. The, the already... Ah, here we go. You see that? That color? You see, I can't mine on this one. Because it's gold ore. It requires... To level 4 and if I go to my wax account see if I'm logging in here ah here we go so this is my wax account um, And now I have 700 Immersus NFTs, right? And this is the one that I collected. So th this is where it gets sent, the stuff that I collect, right? And... As you can see, I have the blueprint for the steel pickaxe. But I need steel bars and... Uh, Sprouse plank, that's what it's called. You can see that in the This is the immersive um, Discord so crafting blueprints so if you want to make a steel axe right which I have the blueprint right but I need an iron axe, this is the one I have, so I will be upgrading the iron axe. But I need two steel bars and two sprouse planks. Now, of course, there is other people that can do it for me. Um, it's called crafting services. So people that have this blueprint, I can send them the resources and pay a little bit for it. Like here. Um... Iron, bronze, string, steel bar. So this guy, I can send him the resources and he can make me a couple of um, steel bars. And then I need the sprouse plank also. This is my this is my NFTs. This guy has it maybe? Birch, no. Or I can just buy it. I can buy it on the... Ah, <laughs> that's another, this is another play to earn game. There's so many games here. Like the Farmer World, Farmer Tales, Alien Worlds, Our Planet, Expansion. These are all play to earn games. This is another play to earn game. I haven't learned this at all. 
there are so many of them but here the atomic market this is where you can uh, buy and sell stuff so for example steel bar steel bar now one steel bar is about twenty five dollars so that would be fifty dollars plus the sprouts or I can pay with the resources so that's that's more that's cheaper and you can buy uh, let's say an iron axe it's an NFT cost you about fifty dollars to get the axe that I have so this is how the play to earn concept works it's all all of these are nfts that you own you can buy and sell oh thank you oh really you're wearing the similar sweater hey love you have you ever played arma 3 no i haven't Yeah, I'm I'm looking for yeah, I after I made the video there was uh, some um, Yeah, there's a new item in the game. Yeah, that's right. Uh let me show you. I haven't really fully understood what what this actually does. But here you see um is it here? I don't know what this is. Oh yeah. So you can make ice clear. Oh wait, ice clear will be available for sales you know, nifty blocks. Alcohol will be required will be a required ingredient for all tincture recipes. Tincture is a potion that can be used for bonuses or effects depending on the one you have equipped. So you have a I, I I'm 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 not sure about what these potions actually does. So this is a new function in the game. Cost you about twenty dollars, and if you have that, you can you can boost your character like the speed or something. I'm not really sure what it does to be honest. But uh, if I ever get a blueprint that allows me to make tincture, I'll probably buy alcohol and craft some tincture. And we'll see how that goes. Also, I didn't show you the gold mine. Let me show you. I'll show you the gold mine. I can't mine gold or silver, but I'll show you where it is. So, you come from here, right? From over there. If you want to go to gold mine, you just follow the like. You just follow the map on the right side, all the way on the right side of the map. And you follow this mountain side. And you can get two. I'll probably I'll do a little bit of farming here until I get there. But there's a there's a there's a mine for mining. That's why it's called mining, huh? But uh, I I don't go there that much anymore because it it has a lot of gold and silver, and I can't mine that anyway. So there's no real incentive for me to go there. Yeah, there's so many people said the game looks like shit when I played and I didn't even show it on proper graphic settings. It's a bit unfair. There we go. I got a stone. I don't even know if stones are going to be implemented for... Uh, crafting or something in the future if you're gonna use stone for like I don't know building houses or wall or bi uh, bi uh, houses buildings or whatever I don't know because right now stones doesn't have an in-game functionality so it's just something that drops that irritates everyone oh these ones I just walked through them yeah they don't sh these big rocks they don't show up when you play on lower graphic settings I haven't seen these rocks before because I always play on lower graphic settings than this 
But uh, I'm just going in this direction because I want to show you the the mine or the cave. It's over there. Yeah, um, honestly, I didn't play. I know when I looked at Arma, it was in a quite early stage of the game, and I didn't really, uh, I didn't really like it that much. I played some other. I don't know if you would call it similar games, but like, yeah. So I can't mine silver and gold. So this is silver, this is gold, and I can't mine it. Oh. If it's iron, I can mine it. So th I, I don't go into this mine anymore because I don't have a level 4 pickaxe. And the reason why I say anymore is because up until like last week, you could mine uh, gold and silver even with a level 3 pickaxe. And that's just not possible nowadays. After the update, so I that's why I want to have a that's why I want to level up my uh, my pickaxe. And I even have a gold bar, so I can make a, a gold bar blueprint. I can make gold bars if I would get a couple of gold drops. Yeah, so this is what the... The fact that all this gold is unmined tells you... Uh, another rock. Or another stone. See, almost everyone who is here... They have the level 3 pickaxe. And you can have a flashlight also. I can make that flashlight. It's a mining helmet or something. It's got a flashlight on it. I just haven't done it. So yeah. I'm trying to get the... Steel blueprint to drop. And I'm trying to get the sprouse or spruce... Plank... Blueprint to drop. Like the steel, the steel bar blueprint and the spru sprouse plank blueprint. That's what I'm looking for. And yeah, as of now, it's not much more you can do in this game. Well, there, there, there's some events and all that stuff. And uh, there's a lot of updates. So if you're interested in uh, getting in early into a play-to-earn NFT game, well, now is your chance. You'll get into the Wax blockchain also, which has a lot of things. There's, there's new things coming all the time there. But yeah, I know it's not for everyone, but... Anyway. Might be worth checking out, depending on who you are.